Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would do another makeup collection video. This time it's going to be on my illuminators slash highlighters. This is always quite a, it's probably one of my favourite makeup collection videos to watch because let's face it, a lot of people love highlighters and stuff like that. So I'm going to talk you through mine. So I'm going to start with my liquid ones first, then I'll move on to my creams and then I'll move on to my powders afterwards. So the first liquid illuminator I'm going to talk about, or highlighter, is this one. It's probably the most expensive one I own as well. This is the Iconic Illuminator, the original shade. So it's a nice gold colour. It's almost like liquid metal on your face. So if you're someone who really loves your highlighter, this is amazing. If you don't like a really intense highlighter, I would um, suggest mixing it in with foundation or having it underneath foundation as a uh, skin illuminator as opposed to... Um, highlighting with it, um, but it is very intense, it's beautiful, a little bit goes a very long way which is great considering how expensive it is, um, and you get so much in here. See, it's just so beautiful, it gives that real shine, wet finish to the skin, so again, it depends on your preference, but you can really play around with this one. That's, I, that's why I like, um, I really like liquid highlighters such illuminators, because you can really kind of um, adjust it to how you like it, like I said, under the foundation, mix it in with foundation to give a slight healthy glow, or you can really um, pop it on the, really pack it on the cheekbones to give a really intense, wet, highlighted look. So you can really play around with it and kind of, I feel, adjust it to your highlighting preferences. The next one is probably one I've talked about quite a lot recently in my Dewy Skin video as well, and it's the Gosh Lumi Drops. I have my Shane Vanilla, really beautiful, they do a different a few different shades of these, so this one suits my skin tone perfectly, it's a very pearly um, liquid highlighter. I use this mainly for under my foundation to create a really nice glowy base to my skin, um, but I have used it on top as well to, to highlight with. So it's just a bit more of a pearl toned highlighter, again better for my skin tone. And actually my final, I thought I had more liquid ones, but apparently I've only got one more liquid um, illuminator. This is from Sleek, this is the Bare Kiss Illuminator in Casablanca. When I went to pick this up, I originally wanted, I think it's Monaco or Morocco, which is a really white pearly sheen. Um, this is much more pink, but it doesn't come out this vibrant, which is something I would bear in mind. So it's a really beautiful shade, like I said, it looks very pink. Once you blend it in, it's beautiful. And again, um, this would make for a really nice... Um, blush top actually so it does have that slight pink to it but you could easily act as a highlight maybe this one I wouldn't necessarily no I wouldn't, you could put it under foundation and it's absolutely fine maybe you wouldn't mix it in with your foundation because it would alter the colour of the foundation but underneath or as a highlighter on top this is a really beautiful shade Okay, moving on to, I think that's all of them, yeah. Moving on to some cream products. So the first one is actually one that I don't use um, as a highlighter because I don't like it. And it's this one here. This is a Sleek Strobing Souffle Whipped Cream Highlighter. And mine is Smoking Quartz. This, I used it in a video and I showed that I didn't like it. It's kind of, A, you don't, you get like very little product in here, which annoys me. It's quite a nice gold colour. Oh, crikey, this is dried up. Okay, this one has really dried up. But um, I found it too glittery and not... Yeah, it was just way... I don't know if you can see it. Way too glittery, too chunky in there. So what I've been using this for is um, an eyeshadow base. It makes really nice for an eyeshadow base. We're going for like, a gold shimmery eye. Um, like I said, that's actually dried up a little bit. It's not as like whipped as it was. It's still creamy, but it's not whipped anymore. The next one is a stick blush, uh, stick highlighter. This is the collection Speedy Highlighter in Pearl Sheen. I know I do a few shades of this. I've used this in videos as well. Really beautiful pinky toned pearl shade. Really easy to use. I find this works nicely over, um, it's here, nicely over powders. Really easy to use. It's not the most blinding of highlights, which I quite like. Um, so if you like your set of highlights, it's great. It's a really nice dewy finish to the skin. If you do love your intense highlights then maybe this wouldn't be for you but I think it does see that gives a really beautiful illumination to the skin which I love. No chunks of glitter again which is kind of like a thumbs up for me. So that's an absolutely beautiful highlighter. Oh I do have another liquid highlighter. This one I don't like. This is the MUA 
um, undress your skin illuminating liquid glow I'm in the champagne the reason I don't like this is because it is so glittery um, like the colour itself is really nice if it just didn't have a glitter it's a nice champagne colour again quite universal gives a really nice sheen but there is just so much I don't know if you can see it on camera there is so much glitter in here that I just I can't do that I just... anyways the next one is kind of like a um, highlight, a cream highlighter and a powder as well this is the MUA strobe and glow highlighter kit I have mine in pearl gold this is really beautiful so you get that's the powder on top and that's the cream the cream is really really nice surprisingly a lot less glitter than the um, and dress me illuminator it's that one there but it's really nice and actually for once is one that the powder looks so pretty on top because the powder is almost there's absolutely no shimmer or glitter in the powder at all it's kind of like that white sheen so it just makes for the most beautiful combination on the skin really inexpensive this one so I'd highly recommend this one just not this one from any way so that's really nice and I know they do a few different shades as well so it's a really lovely cream and powder mixture for highlighter and actually the last one that's got cream and powder highlighter in one of my favourite highlighting kits um, I used to, last year I used it so much on my channel I've tried to like not use it quite as much this year just to mix up that a bit but it's still one of my all time favourite highlighters and it is the Sleek Solstice kit I think this is probably the most popular one they did from Sleek or maybe the Cleopatra one I haven't tried but that seems to be kind of up there as well it's so beautiful you get four shades in here you get one cream which I don't really use and mine's dried up because this is so old and then you get three powders to be honest I only occasionally I wear this one which is a nice um, kind of golden yellow highlight it's really beautiful um, this one I've done occasionally but I use it more for eyeshadows because it's you can really see the purple on the skin and I just don't like it this one however is my favourite this orange toned one here it's just so beautiful oh, God, I'm just, let's just watch now I think this was such a popular um, palette amongst so many beauty lovers it's so beautiful again there's no real glitter shimmer to it there's maybe a little bit of shimmer but it's more of a sheen and it's just so, you can really build up intensity with this one as well. So if you love your highlighters, your really glowing highlighters, this is amazing. If you don't so much, you can go with the light hand and it still creates a beautiful sheen on the skin. It's definitely still to my, still to this day, one of my favourite highlighters ever. And I know it's so popular among people and it's relatively inexpensive as well. So I would highly recommend this one if you wanted to try highlighter out. This is from Neve Cosmetics. This is their single highlight in the shade... Plastic. Now when I first got this I wasn't sure about it because you can see there's no shimmer, no glitter in there. It's like a yellow, kind of, well no, like an off-white. The bit of yellow in there I'd say. Um, it is definitely one of those ones that has an amazing sheen to it. So like I said, if you like your really glowing one, this probably isn't for you. But if you like your natural glow, because if you look at it like that, that just looks like a matte yellow or a matte off-white kind of colour. But once it's on, I can't, no I left to... Um, I don't think you can pick it up. It has a really beautiful natural sheen to it. I've used it in videos before, you could have seen it in that Neve Cosmetics first impressions. It has that real kind of your skin is glowing as opposed to you've put highlighter on effect, if that makes sense. It's really beautiful. Like again, no shimmer, no glitter. If you like a really popping highlight, this isn't going to be for you. If you like something that makes your skin like it's actually glowing, not like you put product on there, it's a great highlighter to go for. It's from Lily Lolo. This is a sample one that I got from the very first Lily Lolo video I did. This is the Stardust shade. It's like a beautiful yellow, pearly kind of colour. Um, where can I swatch? No glitter, no shimmer, which is what I absolutely love. A really beautiful highlighter. It can you can really pack this one out one actually and create a really intense glow to the skin. So if you love your highlighter, you can really build this up and create an intense highlight, which is amazing. And the second one that I got from Lily Lolo, I've actually got it in three forms. If you saw my third what the third one of the Lily Lolo haul and first impressions you'll know I've got three of these illuminators I didn't realise it came with the Sculpt and Glow the Blush Duo kit and then also just the normal kit so this is the 
pressed illuminate it in the shade champagne like so i've got this three formulas three different kits now but luckily i absolutely love this one i use this quite a lot on a day-to-day -day basis like i said champagne gold really beautiful again it's more of that sheen color okay you know what i mean i've got highlighter on i'm just going to pack it on here see that's so beautiful it just melts really nicely into the skin and it just creates a really beautiful natural glow. All highlighters left to talk about. Surprisingly I haven't got that well I have got quite a few but not as many as I thought I did. But I'm going to start next with this one this is actually from Primark no it's not this is from Poundland this is the makeup gallery good to go highlighting powder in the shade pearl shimmer this one I was really surprised about when I actually tested out in that panel video. There is some shimmer to it, nothing intense, but I was so surprised with this one, like how beautiful it looked on the skin, really beautiful glow. One of those ones you could um, have a light glow to your skin or you can really build it up and create a really intense glow. Really beautiful highlighter and only a pound, so that's always good. I then have this Makeup Revolution one which is battered for beautiful pearly pink sheen those are the highlighters I tend to go to you'll notice that's kind of the shade I tend to go for because it just suits my skin tone the best um, really nice because it's baked it's just so much more pigmented it's so much creamier not creamier but smoother let's pop it here let's there you go I'm kind of running out of space to swatch things now really nice again there's a little bit of shimmer to this but nothing that you will really notice unless you're up close so that's always a good one and it Okay, second to last is this one here. This is one of my sister's favourite ones. I actually got her one for her birthday because she loved this so much. It's the I Heart Makeup Goddess of Love Highlighter in the shade Goddess of Faith. Um, again, it's a baked one, smoother on the skin. And it's just really beautiful, kind of. There's slightly more golden undertone with a bit of pink as well, but it's so sick. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is just... Oh, okay. There you go. Incredible. I'd highly recommend this, again, really inexpensive. Then the final highlighter products I've got is Swans, I really wouldn't recommend. Um, and for some reason when I purchased these online I picked up two of, two of both of them. So I've got four of these now, which I don't need. So these are the MUA Luxe Shimmer Sheets, White Gold, Rose Gold. So there's a lot of pigmentation in actually the Rose Gold, but it's super messy. I don't find it more convenient. Yeah, and then this one, there's no pigmentation. So... But yeah, those are all my highlighters that I own. It's quite a mix of, like I said, liquid, cream, powders. Um, I actually thought I had more highlighters than I do, but there you go. I think I've got a nice little selection there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favourite highlighters are. Let me know if you've got any of the ones I've got, or if you've got any you can recommend to me. That'd be amazing. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.